Hey guys, it's me. My name is Delilah. Um, I'm just here to show you my kind of anytime I have extra time in the morning makeup routine. Anytime I just want to look cute and look a little bit more put together, but I always start off with brows. So I like to brush them out first, make sure that they're brushed out. There's no snags, no types of tangles. You know, people sleep wild. I get it. Um, I like to definitely start lining out with very, very light strokes. Okay. No box eyebrows, ladies. Leave those behind in 2015, 2014. Those are gone. Those are dead. Natural brows are in. So yeah, just gently light them on tops and the bottoms. Depends how you like them. My eyebrows are pretty full for the most part, and I get them waxed so that they're on the thicker side. But like I said, light strokes always helps, especially when you have like sparse areas in your brows or where the hair is kind of lighter definitely light strokes just it emphasizes it a little bit better as to where you're not doing too much and I think that's the most important thing about brows is not doing too much your attention wants to be elsewhere on the face not just necessarily your eyebrows so yeah I kind of sped up this eyebrow a little bit just so you guys can get a gist of what I'm doing I'm also using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer in the color dark brown I love that. Love, love that brow definer. It's the best thing. I've been using it, honestly, since I started doing my brows. And I haven't switched. I'm going in with my NARS concealer. I believe this is in Biscuit. And the number is 1.75. So this is what I like to do just to kind of make my brows a little bit more perfect. And if you've never concealed your brows before, it changes the game, okay? I never used to conceal them. A couple years back but now I do and I just love it it just because if you mess up while you're you know like tracing or filling in you just correct it with this and it looks good it doesn't look you know tacky or anything um, I do like to put concealer in sections though only because the NARS concealer does dry a little quick and I don't like harsh lines Especially when you're taking pictures, especially when the flash is on, you don't want that flashback of where you see where you just like put a whole line of concealer. Not cute for me. For me personally, that's just not what I like. So this is just what I do. Also, I'm using this e.l.f. brush. It's like an angled brush. It only costs me a dollar. So don't knock cheap makeup anything, okay? I love to use any type of cheap product that I can get my hands on that's going to get the job done just as well as a product that I might have to drop a good amount of money on so yeah i'm just shaping the outside of my brows just getting any little spots that i might have messed up even kind of making them a little bit thinner i do like to overdraw my brows in the first initial step so that when i do come in with concealer i can shorten them down and it looks much cleaner too so that's also a good trick also i use a beauty blender i love the beauty blender it's my main tool that I use on my face to blend down anything foundation you'll see me use it countless times in this video you know it's twenty dollars from sephora but for me definitely worth it especially if you clean it every day it lasts you a long time so yeah i'm just doing my other brow just literally the same process but i would say the most important thing is treat your brows as sisters and not twins because when you try to manipulate your brows too much that's when they begin to look unnatural and you don't want that you do not want an unnatural look you want something that's natural and something that you can go out and not you know what i'm saying like get those questionable looks or just look too done up because i do think there is such thing as looking at is looking too done up just my personal opinion Now I'm going with my NYX Control Freak. This, honestly, you guys, this is what makes the brows, okay? This is like, it's like a gel, but to me it's more like a hairspray in a bottle. And you can just wipe it, like just brush it on your brows. And it gives your brows a little bit more pigmentation. And honestly, that's what really does the trick. You need to emphasize your real brows. So make sure you're getting your brows waxed and you're taking care of your eyebrows because those are really what makes good brows. Now I'm going in with the Pore Professional from Benefit Cosmetics. And I've been using this stuff for a quite some time too as well. You can use it as just a primer or you can use it in conjunction with your primer. And basically what it does is it smooths out all of those pores and it kind of sucks everything in. And it gives you that really, really smooth finish. 
the consistency is like it's like creamy but then also not sticky it's just well formulated as to where it doesn't separate let's put it that way even when you like move it on your face it it feels great i definitely recommend it so now i'm gonna go with my laura mercier um translucent powder also grade a stuff it's like 36 dollars, but i've had that i've had this exact bottle for the past three years so that says a lot anyway Sometimes if I don't set my brows, I get this like shiny look at the end of the day and I don't like that. So setting them helps control that shine. Going back in with my concealer and I'm just getting my eyelids just so I can remove all of the veininess and all of the like little bit of redness that I get from waking up and after my shower. And I'm blending that out with my beauty blender. All right, and now I'm going with my Blush Neutrals um, palette from BH Cosmetics. I love this palette. It is amazing. It has neutrals, but it also has some colors that you can make it fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not just all browns and, like, taupes and golds and shimmers. So I'm going to go in with one of the browns. Now, I like to start in my crease area, just, like, kind of gently gliding that on it. I do like to blend, but I do kind of like it when it has sharp lines. I really like the cat eye eyeshadow look going on right now. It's one of my favorites. And I do like to use gold on the inside of my lids. It's just what I like to do. And I think the most important thing about putting on eyeshadow is knowing your eye shape. And also remembering the trick that I learned when I first started doing makeup is always put bright colors and like statement colors in the center of your eyelids or near the corners of your eyes those are the sides that you want to um highlight so i'm going in with my grade a oh my gosh just like the best mascara it is the Too Faced better than sex mascara anybody that knows me has lived with me or has been my friend knows that i live by this mascara it is the best mascara ever i love it it's just, it's just amazing um, now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I believe this is in, uh, this is in the shade Y425. So going in with that, I'm just going to beauty blend that all over my face. I usually only use about two pumps, sometimes two and a half, but anybody that does or has used uh, Makeup Forever foundation knows that it's a very light, liquidy foundation, and it's medium to full coverage. But you just need a little bit more just to kind of get it to cover your whole face. So I just like, I really just like to blend that out. Like I said, blending is key, you guys. If you don't blend properly, your makeup is not going to come out how you want it to. And also, if you do feel like you blend out all of your makeup, but it still doesn't look as finished, try using the tools, like try using something different than what you're using. So if you're using brushes, Go ahead and use a beauty blender. If we're using a beauty blender and that doesn't work for you, go ahead and use a brush. Like there's so many different options out there. You just have to keep yourself in the know and just be creative and like be innovative. Now I'm going to take, I'm just showing you guys my eyelash glue that I use because I am going to put on lashes today, but I like to pour mine out a little bit on a piece of paper and let it dry so that when I put it on my lashes, it's just ready to go. And here I'm going with my Benefit Cosmetics Gel Angled brush for your liner it's my favorite thing and I put that on my lids put some mascara on and now here you see me contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I just like to contour so normally what you'll do or what I like to do is I like to start near my jawline and definitely definitely beauty blend that out with contouring too you don't want harsh lines just like your brows you do not want harsh lines when you're doing your contouring because it just doesn't look right and it doesn't look natural so make sure you blend that out and once again i love my beauty blender i just feel like it does a great job and that's why i use it for literally everything and here, this is what I'm saying. I do take a little bit of my contour and I do put it around my hairline and I kind of blend it that way. So it's like I'm not really getting makeup in my hair, but it's just enough to kind of blend the transition from like my scalp um, complexion to like my face complexion. And those are my Lily Lashes in Lux. These are my favorite. I love these lashes. They're so natural and I've just been obsessed so now I'm going in with the blush from the same um, eyeshadow palette that I was using for my eyeshadow. And I just like to put a little bit on there just to give some color to the face. I really don't like using too much. I feel like 
like heavy blush was really big back in like 2015 2014 it was a thing to like have your blush be shown but I think nowadays I like to stick to more of a natural look and something that just seems like a subtle glowy that's what I really like to do. And I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I love this. Had this for years too, as you can see. I'm mixing Glow Getter and 143. Glow Getter is definitely more of like a rose gold, but 143 gives that little bit of a pop. So I love, love mixing these two together. It's honestly my favorite combination. And don't worry about my lashes right now. I'm just letting them dry. I do take some eyeliner at the end and just like cover up some of any type of glue that might be residual glue, anything like that. But while they're drying, they look like this. But when I tell you, once they're done drying, it's lit. It's seriously lit. And I'm going in with Glow Getter on my brow bone. This definitely draws attention near my eyes. And like I said, it kind of centers the face. Because if you put the highlighter too far, like too low near the tail of the brow, it's not going to come out good. But yeah, guys, that was it. That's my video. I figured I'd do some slow motion beauty shots so you guys could see how it came out. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>